We're at 1117 Woodland. I personally think the highest and best use of this house would be a Section 8 house, right? I believe we'll be able to easily get 1200 in rent, right? And Toledo's great for Section 8, y'all. I love Toledo for Section 8, man. It's one of the best Section 8 markets in the USA, in my opinion, right? <laughs> You know, renovating houses, right? Uh, these kinds of renovations, huge gut job renovations. Uh, it's a lot of work, okay? Yeah, I'm not going back over there where the floor is weak. <laughs> where I almost fell through the house with my fat ass. You're in an area where, where, where the incomes are not that high, right? You're dealing with people uh, who are paying like less than $2,000 a month in rent, less than $1,500 in rent. Uh, I think not being able to collect the rent consistently is the source of almost all problems that those kind of the Toledo investors are facing, right? right? Ain't no fucking walls in there. Of course there's nobody running through. Someone <laughs> stole walls. Welcome to the Investing Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch you giving it to you straight. His loss is your gain, y'all. His loss is your gain. And when I say his, I mean the owner, the seller of 1117 Woodland Avenue, Toledo, right? I have this bad boy listed for you, ready for you for $24,900, folks. This is a 3-1. This is uh, not... Not, not, not going to be the best project for rookies out there. This is going to be a seasoned investor deal, okay? You got to know what you're doing. You, I mean, I guess you don't have to, but, like, if you want to have a high probability of making money, I would assume you should. Uh, but, hey, if rookies want to give me 25 k I will gladly take it. But don't say that your boy Jay Wise didn't try to warn you, folks. Uh this is this is one that's is a big one, right? And the current seller, right? He tried taking this project on himself. He started doing some work himself, and he realized, man, uh, this is just not my bag, man. Uh, you know, renovating houses, right? Uh, these kinds of renovations, huge gut job renovations. Uh, it's a lot of work, okay? So this guy bought this house, totally dilapidated. Uh, he went in, he gutted the thing out, right? Uh, he actually got a new electrical panel installed, but you got to do all the electrical work and wiring, right? So just the panel, folks, that's, that's just like the tip of the iceberg. You got to do everything, okay? So we got to do roof, furnace, hot water tank, install drywall, install flooring, install a kitchen, a bath, everything, right? You have to do the whole thing, right? It's a full-on renovation, right? So... I don't think people out there uh, who've never invested in real estate don't just look at the fact that, oh, man, I can get a house in Toledo for 25 k It's cheaper than all the other houses. Let me buy it. Folks, this is a, a relatively difficult task, right? As you see, this guy tried it, and it didn't work out for him. Uh, this is going to be for my folks out there who do this kind of business for a job, uh, general contractors, handy andies, season section eight investors. Those are the type of people that are going to be interested in this project and that I think are going to be able to put this project together successfully, right? I would imagine all of you guys would like to get either yourselves or your your contractors inside of this particular property so you could put together your full scope of work, uh, your full bid, right, to actually get this thing from where it is today to a safe, habitable Section 8 or other type of house. I personally think the highest and best use of this house would be a Section 8 house, right? I believe we'll be able to easily get 1200 in rent, right? And Toledo's great. For Section 8, y'all. I love Toledo for Section 8, man. It's one of the best Section 8 markets in the USA, in my opinion, right? So with this one, all we need here is an investor or buyer who's able to handle this this level of renovation, right? So as I was getting into before I kind of trailed off there, if you or your contractor needs to get inside of this particular property so you can put together that scope of work, because it's obviously going to be a lot of uh, work and a lot of time is going to need to be taking place to actually put together a scope of work this large, 
not a problem. We'll get you in anytime you need to be in there, day or night, except for not really at night, because like that would be weird if you're you know, trying to put together a scope of work in a property that has no lights because it has no electricity because it has no wires and you're doing it in the middle of the night. I would assume all the neighbors would think you're trying to steal things. But luckily for the seller, you're not stealing anything because there's nothing else to steal because it's all gone. Uh, but it would just be weird for the neighbors. So we'll get you in there in the daytime. You know what I'm saying? And to do that, just simply send an email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll get you scheduled. We'll get you set up. We'll get you inside or your contractor so you guys can put together that scope of work. Uh, figure out how much it's going to cost you to put this thing together. Once you're all done, man, you're going to have a turnkey property in Toledo. Nice area for, I believe, the best the best way to make money is with Section 8 real estate, right? Because you get into these kind of neighborhoods, and you can go cash tenants, right? And that's totally fine. There's a lot of folks out there that are going to pay cash, right? Uh, but in my opinion, it, it when you're in an area... Where, where, where the incomes are not that high, right? You're dealing with people uh, who are paying like less than $2,000 a month in rent, less than $1,500 in rent. Uh, I think not being able to collect the rent consistently is the source of almost all problems that those kind of the Toledo investors are facing, right? Like Toledo investors, Toledo landlords, we deal with them all the time. They call us up, they're like, oh man, I'm having a hard time doing you know my deal man uh, it's tough it's tough being a landlord out here bro like can you buy my properties can you sell my properties can you get these properties off my hands right we deal with those calls all the time right we sold 200 million dollars worth of real estate out here and the the main reason that i deal with so many of those calls from struggling toledo landlords folks it's not collecting the rent not collecting the rent is the source of all issues right the rent doesn't come in then you have to evict the tenant. You start having to evict the tenant. The tenant's pissed. They start breaking stuff in your house. You finally do evict them. Now you have a house that needs repairs. You don't get to the repairs because you don't have enough money. House sits vacant. It sits vacant in an area where sometimes criminals come in and they steal things like the copper piping. Now you got more repairs. And the whole thing just spirals out of control, right? If you could just get the rent all the time, you wouldn't have the repairs. You wouldn't have the vacancy. You wouldn't have the stolen mechanicals, right? And to get the rent all the time consistently in neighborhoods like this where they're pretty low income, you know what you do? You use the cheat code, which is Section 8, Government Guaranteed Rent. That's how I've built my fortune. Hopefully, I can help people like you build your fortune. Additionally, uh, if after you renovate this property, you need insurance on it, hit up your boy, Jay Wise, here at Holton Wise, and I can get you insurance. Can't get you insurance on it just yet because, like, there's really nothing to insure. You got to fix it up, and then after that, we'll get you insurance, potential bird deal for you. So if you want to make an offer after touring it, to do that, you'll just send an email to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com, include your proof of funds. Obviously, it's going to be cash offers only, and it's going to be as-is offers only. Like I said, we'll get you in the property whenever you need to, except at night because, again, that's, that's weird. But we'll get you in there during normal, reasonable business hours so you can put together that scope of work, and then at that point, uh, make your offer. We're not pulling it off the market uh, for 10, 15 days while you sit around and, and try to determine if the numbers work for you. You got to do all that shit while it's on the market. We ain't pulling it off so you could think about buying it, motherfucker. You got to know you want to buy it. So when you get past that point after we get you in there, send me them offers. Cash only sales at HoltonWise.com. No hard money lenders, no regular lenders, no private lenders. If I say proof of funds, I want a picture, a screenshot of your bank account with your name on it. With the money in the bank. Don't send me a pre-approval letter to some dipshit hard money lender. Because we ain't dealing with that. Cash only. Let's go. We're at 1117 Woodland. There was clearly a uh, fire. <coughs> this guy was in such a hurry to put the fucking sign up. He didn't let me interview him. That's the front of somebody's car. <laughs> now it's land decor. All right. Ain't no fucking walls in there. Of course there's nobody running through. Someone <laughs> stole the walls. Uh, I guess the basement. Should we go there? That? that doesn't look like it's attached. You want me to walk first? No, I got it. My mama didn't raise no bitch. 
Hello, murderer, are you down here? I'm not worried about any murderers. Worry about dead bodies. Alright, here I come. I hope I don't get killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's a sad day. We didn't find any uh, of our favorite objects here. Boo. Boo. This place gets a Vince D minus for not having any sex toys. Dude, Hey, it's got the fucking jacuzzi tub. Yeah. Oh shit, I fucked Yeah, I like that when you point the camera in one direction, you can see every room in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going back over there where the floor is weak. <laughs> where I almost fell through the house with my fat ass. You want a blowjob? How much? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.